Hello there, Flesh Humans, and welcome to this week's shop review. Let's find out what's worth buying, and spoiler alert, it's not the Astron Rex. Resources such as the Massive Breakthrough can be very useful to, for example, grind a new tech tree. And speaking of new tech tree, the BZ75 is now in the game. And whether you should grind it or not, I will be making a video on that very soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss whether you should get the BZ75. The answer is no. Now, certificates, that are, again, very useful for grinding new tech trees. The prices, it's okay, right? 8.5k for 100 of them. 100 of them will give you about three entire tech trees to grind through if you also use boosters and premium account at the same time. So, if you really want to grind a lot of tech trees at very fast, then this is what you want to go for. Now, obviously, if you're a new player, do not, under any circumstances, get to tier 10 quickly. Tier 10 is not the goal of the game. The goal of the game is to have fun. If you're a new player, let's say you have under 5 tier 10s, do not use this method to get new tier 10s. Grind them out slowly and actually learn what you're doing. Otherwise, you're just going to end up in tier 10 and have no clue what you're doing. And there are already plenty of players at tier 10 that have no clue what they're doing, which is a great thing for me because it makes it very easy to do much damage, basically. Anyway, then we also have the Victor's Might, the Conqueror's Power, all of these. Now, they have a decent set in here. We have gold boosts, we got gold, and also the premium account. Unfortunately, they have customization containers, the most useful. And then obviously, we have these big bundles right here that include the Worthless Filler, also known as customization containers. Now, containers on their own are already quite worthless, but these are even filled with more worthless than worthless items, because remember, these are cosmetic. They do nothing. So... They're essentially just a waste of money and also time. Now, the rest of the bundle, 30 days of premium, 220 gold. It, it, this okay, but obviously it costs a lot of money, so I don't really recommend it. If you're looking for this one, 7 days of premium, eh, there are better bundles like that out this that don't include pointless containers, because then you have a value somewhere else, which is what's nice. And then in the tank section, we start off with the crushers, which are about as enjoyable as having your actual testicles crushed, because the ISU-130 is one of the worst tier 8 premium tanks that ever existed anywhere, because how about we take the ISU-152 and use the only thing that is actually good about that vehicle, meaning the BL-10 gun, and replace it with a gun that you can also find on an SU-130 PM. This is a terrible vehicle that does not belong in anyone's garage and you should never buy. However, the FV-201 is a great tier 7. However, obviously it is a tier 7, which means it does less damage and less credits than a tier 8, making it sort of pointless for any type of grinding. Unless you want to sort of seal club on tier 6s, then this vehicle is excellent because it has 3000 DPM. But it is a very good vehicle at tier 7. Would I recommend buying it nonetheless? No, because it is a tier 7, and also this bundle is only 7.5k, but these times 5 XPs are locked to the vehicles, which means you would have to spend extra gold to convert it into free XP. So, again, diminishing the value of the bundle. And then we also have a Fireflake avatar, which adds a value of exactly zero. Next up, we have the Star Spangled Trio, which are made up of the Chrysler K, which was given away for free during the Christmas event, which means there is no reason to buy it now, even though it is a sort of decent vehicle. There is absolutely no reason to buy it a month after it was given away for free, so just don't buy it, at least wait for a while. And if you don't already have it for free, there's no point to get it. T28 Defender, kind of similar story here, given that this is a heavy tank trying to be a tank destroyer, kind of failing at it. I mean, that's okay, but the vehicle's performance isn't so okay, which means it's not really worth buying. It also has a fake autoloader with 6 seconds intraclip, which means that you can't even stay peaked while firing the autoloader, making it essentially a fake autoloader, because you just have a single shotgun with weird reload times. Basically, not really worth it. You can get an actual tank store or an actual heavy tank. Both will do you a better job. This vehicle... Not really much worth it. Then we have the T95 E6, which is sort of the Florida of World of Tank Splits American vehicles, as in, what the actual hell is going on with this thing? I mean, it is quite old. It is quite weird. You really don't want to go there. And if you do go there, you're either old or crazy. So no, this vehicle isn't worth it either. And then the rest of the bundle is just filled with camouflages, times 5 XPs that are once again locked to the vehicles, meaning you would have to again spend extra money to convert that Elite XP into Free XP. And then after that, 
there is no real point to buy it. The enemy 5 E6 is a decent heavy M. It's nowhere near as good as the Chieftain because it has a massive cupola and can't really go hull down at all. However, it's fine if you are a very advanced player and want something to have fun with. It doesn't have an HD skin. It looks like it's made in 2002, but we're not looking for aesthetics here because that's irrelevant. Yep, 10 degrees of gun depression. It does have very mobile, no armor basically, so... It is the Leopard of Heavy Tanks, essentially. If you're a very good player, you can get quite a lot out of this vehicle. However, if you're not a good player, you're gonna get nothing. So, I would recommend, if you're good enough to know whether you want it, get it. If you're not, then don't. Now, these times 5s are unfortunately, once again, locked to the vehicle, making them significantly worth less. So, that's quite unfortunate. And, once again, the Fireflake Avatar, which is worthless. And next we have the Glorious Warriors, which have a great thing about them, and that is these times fives are actually unlocked, making them worth about ten times as much as regular locked times fives. Now we here have the Astron Rex, which has terrible DPM, has a autoload with 3.5 seconds intraclip, which is almost not good enough, especially for a medium tank, but... It's still okay. Is it a good vehicle? No. Should you buy it? No. TS-60 is a tankster. It's sort of the Chrysler K of tanksters. Basically, it doesn't do anything better than the Chrysler K. The, I mean, the gun's slightly better, but it has a lot of things that are worse than the Chrysler K. For example, it can't even turn its turret in its entirety, and the side of the hull here sticks out, which means you can penetrate this spot right here. So, essentially, not a vehicle that you really want to have, especially if you have the Chrysler K for free from the Christmas event. So, this bundle is entirely quite pointless with two vehicles that just aren't that good and aren't really worth getting at all. However... If we look down below for 5,000 gold less, what we're getting right here is we're also getting 30 unlocked times 5 XP, which is just perfect. I mean, if they would include times 5s unlocked in every bundle, that would be great. Obviously, they're never going to do it because they want you to spend more gold on elite XP to free XP conversion. But here, to unlock times 5s, great thing right here. And then we have the Lerve, great crate grinding vehicle. Not really the best of tanks, but amazing for making credits. And then we also have the Centurion 5-1, one of the very few tier 8 medium premium tanks that are actually worth purchasing. It is a little bit of an advanced player's tank, so nothing for beginners. But basically, this bundle for grinding credits, for having a bit of fun, is worth it. And I do recommend these two vehicles to buy. And then we have the, in my opinion, still best tier 8 premium tank in the game, the T-54A2. Now, unfortunately, it is in a draw. I do not recommend draws, even though it is a great vehicle. I do not recommend playing the draw at all. Then there is also the French draw for the Char Future Mjolnir, which, for some reason, why does a French tank have a Norse camouflage? I don't understand. However, again, this vehicle is not worth it, because draws are just crates in a different form. And speaking of crates, make sure to open your free crates to get credit boosters, cooldown boosters, whatever, and also make sure to stay away from the paid containers, because you know what you are when you buy paid containers. A dummy. 